It's time for evolution. Welcome to the Ghana Art Family. And so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to correct your traditional uh, sketches within Photoshop, you know, to remove the smudges and whatnot. And we were going to be using levels and curves. And you're going to see that coming up soon. So, peace. All right now, so this is a page from uh, one of my comics. So what we're gonna do is reduce the, the smudging and some of the dirtiness around the pages. So the smudging we're gonna take care of mainly is this right here and some of the other colors like the smudging like in the middle of this boy's uh, stomach, All right? So what we're gonna do now is work with our adjustment layer. The, the adjustment layer is like a, a yin yang uh, circle symbol in the bottom of the layers panel. So what we're gonna do is select that and we're gonna work with levels and then curves. Now the reason I'm gonna work with levels is so that I have to, I, I can do less work when I move on to curves, okay? So right now we're gonna go into levels, right? And uh, if you, you come here and adjust the sliders here, it's, it's not specific and it will make some of the the line work that you have disappear and we don't want that we just want to we just want to uh, target the, uh, the the dirty smudges in the bottom here so how would how would we target that we go from levels to mass okay this is levels and now we're going into mass the layer mass okay now we're, what we're gonna do now is going to our our color range right and we're going to select this eyedropper tool uh, and what we're gonna do now is uh, select uh, this portion of the uh, the boy, this smudging of the boy, right? So we're just gonna select that portion of it, right? And as you can see here, if you kind of zoom in here, uh, you see that most of uh, this portion, the smudging, it has been selected, you know, and it's and it's also uh, searching out all the other tones that are similar to that smudge color that we just selected with the eyedrop eyedrop tool okay and so what we're gonna do is you know click okay and you know now the layer masses has been uh has been made okay so what we're gonna do now is just adjust the levels here okay so we're gonna make this a lot more uh, lighter okay and uh yeah if you want the tool you could be done here now however if you want to go even more more in detail you know we can go into uh curves now the reason why i wanted to go into levels is so that we have less work when we, when we finally go into curves which goes into even further detail okay so what i'm going to do now is select this uh this finger tool right here and i'm going to select uh some of the tones now you can see how like it's it's uh, searching for all it's searching on all the different tones right and uh, since most of this page is white, you can see it like it's only going up towards the, the wider sections of this graph, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is select some of the tones that I wanna correct. So I'm going to select, so I'm going to select this, and you can see how it's making a mark, right? So I'm going to select uh, this as well. So I'm going to scout out if I see any other tones here. Uh, just uh, selecting, selecting just seeing if i see any more uh, tones it, it seems like these are like the main two tones so uh i'm going to uh start to uh adjust it more so this this brings it lighter okay it bring this brings the tone much lighter okay so we can have it much lighter and now we can uh adjust this you know bring it more into the light you know so we're just going to be bringing this tone more, more so into the into the light. Now, let's say we want to take a the outline, right? We want to make this outline darker, right? Let's just select the outline of this boy here. Okay, so we're going to select the this kind of lighter outline right here, and we're just going to make the uh, his the the pencil markings a lot a bit more darker darker okay so the pencil markings are getting a little bit more darker all right and you can see how sometimes you 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 can lose some some detail as you uh, adjust 
but you know just play around with it a little bit you know and uh, you can kind of see that now the the pencil markings are, are getting cleared up uh, there's a loss of detail in this uh, in this tree right here if you come come here there's a loss of detail on this tree uh, uh, and that's because like this the the line stroke that I had here match the line stroke of the smudge so you want to be careful of that have work with like the same like line stroke when you're when you're uh doing your pencils and whatnot and so if we were to see a before and an after uh this is before okay this is before this is what it looks like before you can see all these smudges and now if we like the after we can see you can see it like all cleaned up now if i zoom in you can see it all cleaned up now and so yeah that will be the tutorial thank you guys for watching and uh yeah if you enjoyed the tutorial feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe uh this would be useful if you're doing if you know if you're doing a sketches uh, like uh doing a uh, a sketch project for clients or people just want storyboards and they don't want you to like ink it or anything you know this would be useful to clean up your your your, your pages if you did a lot of erasing or anything like that so yeah peace Feel free to subscribe and caress that bell button if you enjoyed this video.